What dreams we have and how they fly Like rosy clouds across the sky Of wealth, of fame, of sure success Of love that comes to cheer and bless The historic Dunbar Theater was named after the poet Paul Lawrence Dunbar who wrote poems about the pain of segregation. The theater was constructed in 1941 and had 467 seats. It served as the hub of performing arts for the local African-American community, hosting acts such as Duke Ellington and Louis Armstrong. As public theaters were desegregated and African-Americans exerted their newly won civil rights, the Dunbar Theater became less relevant and eventually closed. In 2008, the Power Community Development Center of Wichita, also known as Power CDC, bought the theater. Shortly after, it was added to the National Register of Historic Places. These pictures show the beginning stages of the outside renovations. The murals were done in partnership between the Power CDC, Wichita State Student Involvement, the Ulrich Museum, and the City of Wichita. The paintings reflect the theater's history. I see them bloom for me and you, and I think to myself. See skies of blue and clouds of white, the bright blessed day, dark sacred night, and I think to myself, in a wonderful world. We asked James Arbertha, the executive director of the Power CDC. Why is the historic Dunbar Theater important to this community? It's all we got. Mm -hmm. Simple as that, it's all we have. When it comes to performing arts, we don't have anything else. Other than the church, that's not where it's at for mm -hmm. this type of project. Mm -hmm. If we have something else, I'm not aware of it. I've been in this community for 50 years. Dunbar Theater be the catalyst for all the revitalization we've done in this neighborhood, in my opinion. We asked Officer Metcalf from the Wichita Police Department, what impacts do community centers and their activities have on juvenile crime rates? Teens who do not participate in after school programs are three times more likely to skip class than teens who do participate in after school programs. So they're a great resource for giving kids a quality um, upbringing and a quality education and keeping them out of trouble. Um, teens who participate in after school activities are also three times less likely to use drugs, um, use alcohol, smoke cigarettes, and engage in sexual activity than teens who do not participate in after-school activities. Why are community resources such as the Dunbar Theater important to the growth of communities with a history of high crime rates or violent crimes? They provide a safe place for the kids to go and learn and develop life skills. Um, the big thing is having a safe place for those kids to be where they don't have to feel like they're going to be picked on or bullied and they can get some quality mentorship from um, individuals in the neighborhood. In order to finish the renovations to the historic Dunbar Theater and to achieve Paul Lawrence Dunbar's dream of ending segregation, the entire Wichita community must come together to recognize the past and build a better future for this generation and generations to come.